What up, Casanovas? Today, we're in Chicago. Chirac. <laughs> um, and we're gonna go shoot a vlog somewhere. I think there's some kind of an art festival going on downtown Chicago, you know, get some sights, talk to some girls. We have boot camp uh, later, so we have a little window of opportunity. Why is he meditating? Buddy! Are you ready? Oh. Are you ready to go to Chicago? I'm all set now. So I tore my jeans. I don't know if you can see that shit. So I don't know if that looks ratchet or chic, but uh, I guess it goes well with my other holes. What up, Casanovas? Before we continue, I just want to let you know that I'm working on an exciting new product that's going to drop at the end of this month that's going to teach you everything you need to know about meeting women. So if you want to be the first to get notified and stay in the loop about launch specials, then join the VIP list and sign up in the link in the description below. All right, now let's get back into it. There's three of them, uh, two sisters and a cousin. And uh, he was talking to her cousin. No, initially with the sister, then her cousin. Um, long story short, you know, like both girls were into us. At some point I just told took my girl outside and uh, took, uh, just grabbed the lift and she's like, I've never been with a Russian guy before. I'd like to. I'm like, all right, we can make this happen. And she called me Poppy in bed. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, to be fair, on the lift ride there, I was like, can you say, te, te amo mucho, Poppy? <laughs> and she's like, well, that depends on how you please me. Anyway, and then took uh, the other girl back to um, his place and then he said Viva Mexico. So we're in Millennium Park, home of the famous Bean. I've been told that some guys come here to meet women, but to be quite honest with you guys, there's not a lot of uh, good looking girls out here. Might head out on the street, do a little day game. I think Martin talked to some 15 year olds. We're gonna cut whoa, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. She's 19, guys. <laughs> hey. She no, looked no, 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 no. Okay, she, I guess she was 19. <laughs> You want to be successful at day game. Rule number one, stretch it out, all right? You got to be nimble. You got to be able to move swiftly. One, two, three. Where are the honeys? We have a lot of empty space. There's already a lot of empty space in my heart. I can't take any more empty space. Unfortunately, we didn't see too many girls around, so we decided to take a break and do an impromptu photo shoot for the gram with a girl I knew who was in the area. And then, as rush hour started to approach, the girls started to emerge. So we decided to do a couple of approaches before meeting up with my buddy Kevin. Excuse me. Hi. So Sorry, I did not mean to startle your girl with the fancy blazer. Uh -huh. um, I was just uh, meandering. I'm meeting my friend like an hour. You yeah. look super adorable Thank you. with your fancy blazer. Thank so I had you. to deviate from course for a second, risk it all, say hello. <laughs> What's your name? Why are you in Chicago? I'm just here for a few days. I have a couple of friends here. Nice. I've been meaning to come down for a while now. It's a good opportunity. Cool. Um, bad call driving though. They found a nug of weed in my car. Did they? Slapped me with a five hundred dollar fine. Oh God! Well, I really want to go to Toronto, but it's good to know it's not bringing drugs. Yeah, don't life. don't bring drugs. <laughs> when they're like five hundred dollars, I'm like I'm like, like U.S. Like or Canadian. <laughs> they laugh. Have you been to Toronto? No, I really want to go. I haven't been to Canada. It's um, it's funny how similar the vibe is. Yeah. 
yeah. between the two cities. Really, like Chicago specifically? Yeah, Chicago specifically. Yeah. Like, so many spots um, that I've been to, I can't help but feel like, oh shit, that reminds me of this area in Toronto. Mm -hmm. uh, we're staying in Wicker Park, oh, which is like, yeah, what, yeah, Hipsterville? Yeah. It is, exactly. Yeah. Similar to Queen West in Toronto, basically. Except what you guys are missing is like a big park where all the hipsters come out and just like get wasted yeah, on a weekend. We don't, yeah. You guys we don't want anything like that? Lincoln Park, maybe. What did you say? Sorry, Vadim. Vadim, V A D I M. Okay, proper white Midwestern girl name. I guess. That's hilarious. Are you, like, what, born and raised in Chicago? No, I'm from Indiana. Indiana, okay, that's... Which is right over here. It's neighboring. You don't have, you don't so have that twang. Like, no, that's a stereotype. Well, depending on... No, I met a guy in L.A. who had the twang. Really? I, I'm from Indianapolis, and I feel like it's pretty, like, normal. More neutral? Center, yeah. Okay. It's not as, like... Why, you don't like the twang? No. I would feel silly if I had the twang. You what? I would feel silly if I had the twang. Feel silly, okay. People would think I was, like, too sweet. Like, you know. Too sweet, too too girly. Yeah. Nah, I'm a boss bitch. Right? No, I'm like, I'm <laughs> I work at those, yo. Yeah, you got to work, I guess. Yeah, I uh, listen, work. I'm here for another couple of days, okay. and we should grab a drink. Unless you're in like a super committed relationship. Yeah, in a super committed relationship. Jacqueline, this is unacceptable. I know, I know, so I'm not just saying. It. Yo. <laughs> So we're gonna meet up with my friend Kevin Magdaddy now. Should be somewhere out here. I think motherfucker's sunbathing out on that metal statue. <laughs> Jesus, son, there's children you're sunbathing? Oh, son. What's up, up, bro? What's up, Just chilling? Yo, Kevin Magdaddy, baby. Kevin. Time world champ. Kevin Magdaddy in 96, the house. 96, 97, 98. <laughs> Number one slayer in the Midwest. No, back, from back from the dead. Back from the grave. Although you have a girlfriend now. I, I do, I do. He's a monogamous listen, man now. Listen, He's son. a monogamous listen, man. Listen, son. Every great champ has to hang up his gloves, you know? And no one's going to take At least for a while. At least for a while. From me, son. All right. What do you want to do? You want to explore a little? I, I would Talk like to, to some go, honeys? I would like to go get a little CBD. You know a little CBD? I got uh, seduced by the tattoos. What's your name? Yeah. Vadim, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. For some reason, I was expecting uh, an Eastern European name. Oh, no. I mean, I have Eastern European in my background. But, okay, yeah. but you're just a Midwestern girl? No, I'm from, I'm from the East Coast, actually. East Coast? Yeah. Okay. Okay, me too. Me too. Nice. Toronto. Yeah. What about you? Uh, New Jersey. Jersey? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why do I feel like this would be risque in an office in, in Canada? Are they um, cool with this? I mean, I don't know if it's so, but it just uh, seems to be my office where it's pretty cool about it. What do you do? Uh, I work What do you guys do? Uh, we teach dating and self-development advice. We teach guys how to like meet girls, essentially, and like develop confidence. So, in an entertaining way. And we were we were just here on a on like a coaching session. We had a couple of clients in Chicago. And so, after winning over the heart of another follower, we headed back to Millennium Park to give it another shot and get some motherfucking ice cream. Guys, the gelato is that way. Wait, excuse me, two seconds. Girl with the fancy glasses who looks Greek as fuck. Greek? Oh, you too. You too. Greek. <laughs> this is like Jackie Onassis in the house right here. I am really flirting with the idea of getting gelato. Okay. And what well, you guys looked attractive, I thought. Talk to some attractive girls, get gelato, it's a good way to spend the day at the park. I'm Vadim, I'm from Toronto, I'm just fucking around. Yep. Nice to meet you. <laughs> that does not sound Greek at all. Nope, I'm not Greek. Vadim, nice to meet you. So you guys are, this is my friend Kevin. 
who looks American as fuck, obviously. Kug the law, they're not fucking, they're, they're not Russian. He doesn't like my glasses. He looks like a drug dealer. Guys, crazy idea. Uh, we were thinking of getting ice cream somewhere. You guys want to like adventure, get ice cream? Don't do anything crazy though. <laughs> you know, we're very naive. But it, it's super weird though, because so I'm from Toronto and like celebrating some of these things in LA, like Christmas, St. Patty's, it just feels weird. Because it's out, yeah, because yeah. it's warm and normally yeah. it's like it so October. Yeah. It's or sorry, so it's weird. March. Or like Halloween is in October and you're like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, it's yeah. so fucking bizarre. No snow for fucking Christmas. <laughs> Every Christmas that I lived in Los Angeles, I flew back here. Guys, um, we have to go. We have to meet our friend. Uh, it was cool meeting you, but let's maybe be here for another couple of days. Well, he lives here. Let's maybe uh, meet up, go out or something. Okay. Um, you have a WhatsApp number? Use what? No. Oh, what do you? You have phone numbers? Like, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay, you text. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah, you too. Guys, yeah, let's um, let's hang out tonight. We'll buy you some booze at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> All right, guys, it's cool meeting you. Yeah, you too. You guys, uh, nice keep day. working on that tan. <laughs> this is. Just do it shirtless European style. All right, guys. Ciao. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you tune in next week where we're going to show you the full interaction of this Insta date with Kevin and I and these Norwegian girls. And if you like the content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again, and until next time.